quickly. I mean, to be fair, I think I did spend a quarter of the budget in the second episode, which is honestly not smart by me. But at the same time, I still had to buy all the game passes, which is definitely a huge chunk of the budget. But then ever since that, it's really just, well, it was just the bundles until that stopped. And then just daily rewards and other stuff. You know, I even bought some cosmetics. But yeah, it's really crazy how quickly we've gone to Enchanted Forest, which is literally two dungeons away from max level, not including Yokai Peak, of course. I guess technically when I get to Yokai Peak, I'm max level. However, it would probably be ideal to get to Nightmare Mode. And then after that, probably get to level 215 so we can go on to the next dungeon after that. So I guess technically 215 is max level. Unless you're on the leaderboard, then I'd have to get to level 255 or something, which I am definitely not doing that. But anyway, we're on the second boss now. Should be really easy, just like last time. And there we go. I killed it. But I did actually get stunned at the last second, which shouldn't matter too much because I should spawn right here. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, what's kind of crazy is that I think every few episodes we've gotten something that helped us like an insane amount. I think the first instance of that was probably when we got the second craftable because, well, I was already level 120, I think. So yeah, I got the first one and then obviously I had to grind for the second one, which was crazy. If you remember that, we were one-shotting everything back in Steampunk sewers, even the bosses, I think. But yeah, we have it again. The champion's judgment has helped an insane amount. I think it took me like, I can't even remember at this point, but like, I think four hours for either one of the episodes that I took in Aquatic Temple, which is still a crazy long time. I've been saying that something needs to happen because this is taking forever. But yeah, I think without it and without the XP boost, probably everything I have right now, man, that would have taken days, bro. So yeah, I'm very lucky to get this. But the only reason I actually mentioned it, I kind of got a little bit off topic there, but we're getting a bunch of stuff that kind of like boosts our progression, I guess you could say. Right now we have the Champion's Judgment, like I said. But once I get to level 186, we hopefully should have an ultimate, which I'm not sure how much will help, but it should help a ton. Anyway, we killed the boss and dang, even more trash. That round took like extra long. I think I was talking way too much. And there we go. We got our first Greg encounter of the episode. And now that we're in nightmare mode, we should be able to get a ton of better things. I've probably said this already, but insane mode is definitely my least favorite thing to do, especially when you have to sit there for hours playing insane mode. But anyway, we're about to kill him. There we go. Okay, we got gray warrior armor and a gray guardian chest, which should not help at all. But the warrior armor actually should. So we should have a full set of crystalline armor right now. But yeah, like I was saying about the insane mode thing, the reason it's like my most hated thing to do is because when you're just sitting there for hours playing insane mode of a dungeon, it's like the worst thing ever. Especially the fact that you know you're just not gonna get anything good. It's just like the most boring process of leveling up, honestly. But now that we're level 175, this should be a little bit more exciting because it's not just leveling up. We can actually get good stuff from completing the dungeons. But yeah, in Northern Lands, I don't know if I'm going to be able to because it's very difficult. But I could beat the fourth boss, which also gives us a chance of dropping an ultimate, which is very rare. I'm not even sure I'm gonna get close to dropping one. I'll be lucky if I even get like a purple collectible, which I am yet to get in this series. The best we've gotten is this blue triton, I think, which is crazy, bro. We actually have terrible luck. There we go. He's dead. Oh, there's no way. Nice. Guardian and mage. If only I got warrior. And I just realized I did not go back to lobby and upgrade my new chest plate. So let me actually go do that real quick. All right. I think it's this right here. It's only gray, unfortunately. So we definitely need to get an upgrade soon. But there we go. We have the full set. Now, all we need to do is get an Elden Bark set. All right. This time I'm going to be trying hardcore mode. Now, I was going to go 500 million HP. That is until I realized I put on the wrong chest plate. So what you saw before wasn't the full set. This is. But yeah, that kind of threw me off a little bit. I was at 500 mil HP with the guardian chest plate. However, now that I'm actually using the right one, we're only like 415. So I'm not sure how that's going to impact me. Hopefully I just can dodge a little bit better. But yeah, let's go ahead and see how we do. And I'm actually hoping we can still two cycle because I did use a lot of stamina points. Let's just see though. Come on. Okay, that's going to be close. We might be in the same situation situation where we barely okay not even i mean maybe i think it's where only like some of them die but it is a three cycle kind of yeah i think i can definitely go lower hp i'm not sure like i said before the dungeon isn't too hard but if i get caught lacking at the wrong points in the dungeon i could definitely die i know there's some points where the little poison things just don't show up and i just walk into them because i can't even see them so how's that even fair but yeah i end up dying so that's definitely something i gotta worry about but if i actually want to two cycle while using like a high amount of HP, I probably need some better armor. Well, I guess that's really all I can do. I don't need a better spell because, well, I could use a better spell, but this one wouldn't impact the damage. But yeah, the only thing that would help is the armor, obviously. We got a green and gray set going on right now, which could definitely be better, especially for the fact that we can get tier three armor, which is the Elden Bark. And I'm actually curious if we can one-shot the mobs using Elden Bark.
Thank you. 